So our next lesson is going to be to learn how to do a French seam. This is the wrong side of my fabric, and you can see that the seam allowance is really neat and clean where the raw edge is enclosed. So to begin with my French seam sample, I'm going to start with my pattern piece. I'm cutting two pieces from it, and I'm going to clean finish the outside, the three sides of my fabric. Uh, if you have access to a serger, it's the easiest way. If not, you can use on your home machine, you can use a zigzag or another um, overlock type of uh, stitch. I'm going to take my two pieces, and unlike other samples where we put right sides together, in this case, we're going to take our two pieces and put the wrong side together. And on this sample, I'm going to stitch with an eighth of an inch seam allowance through those two pieces. You can find the eighth of an inch on your machine. If this is my quarter of an inch, I know my eighth is half of that. If you go look at your presser foot, the right side that comes out, if you just straddle the middle of that, it's about an eighth of an inch. So I'm going to Stitch an eighth of an inch with these two pieces together. The next step is to take our sample face up and press our seam to one side. You can turn it over to the wrong side and press that seam flat again. I have my quarter inch seam pressed over, and now we're going to fold right sides together, wrong side is on the outside, and we're going to fold along this seam line. I'm going to stitch a 3 8 seam all the length of that fold line, making sure to lock at the beginning of the end, so 3 8 seam. So I have my sample now. I've stitched my 3 8 seam. This is the wrong side. When I turn it over to the right side, you can see, just have a clean seam. But now the seam allowance, if you look closely, is encased. So it's a really beautiful, neat finish. My last step here is to press that seam flat. Remember, you're going to press right along while you're sewing. And make sure to trim all your extra threads. I'm going to turn it to the right side. And I'm finished.